Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So these are the first of the three lectures on the famous work Leelavati of Bhaskaracharya. So this gives the outline, the introduction, importance of Leelavati, then uh, arithmetical operations uh, which he considers and some particular methods which are he considers as important, then solution of quadratic equations. So then like in many other texts, earlier texts, mixtures, then combinations and progressions and finally plane figures with uh, application to right angle specifically. Bhaskaracharya was perhaps the most well known among the ancient Indian astronomer mathematicians. So, most people would have heard his name in India at least and he is designated as Bhaskara II. To distinguish him from his predecessor, his namesake Bhaskara I who lived in the 7th century. So, according to his own statement in the work Goladhyaya which is a part of his famous work Siddhanta Shirmani. He was born in uh, the Shaka year 1036 or which corresponds to 1114 common era. So, he also adds that he came from Vijjara Veda near Sahyadri mountain. So, some, some people uh, speculated that it was uh, Bijapur in uh, northern Karnataka, but um, many others do not think so. For instance, uh, the famous historian of mathematics. Indian mathematics and astronomy, Shankar Balakrishna Dikshit, who wrote a famous work on Indian astronomy and mathematics in the 20th century beginning, he feels that the Bhaskara's original home was Patan in Khandesh. Khandesh is a part of Maharashtra. And there is an inscription here which lists his grandfather, father, son, and grandson, whose names are Manoratha, Maheshwara, Lakshmi Dara, and Changadeva, respectively. So, Bhaskara's Leelavati is a standard work of Indian mathematics. It is a party or party ganita. So, elementary mathematics covering arithmetic, algebra, geometry and menjuration. In fact, we will see that there is at least one result on trigonometry also in this work. And what is important is that you know it is still used as a textbook in Sans Sanskrit institutions in India like you know the Jyotisha courses and things like that. So, they use Leelavati and uh, it is composed around 1150 common era. There are many commentaries on this uh, famous work. There is one by Parameshwara around 1430 CE. So, then one of the most famous ones which explains uh, uh, Leelavati in considerable detail is uh, Buddhi Vilasini of uh, Ganesha Daivagna composed around 1545. So, there is a commentary by Surya Dasa, then one by Munishwara around 1635, then one Ramakrishna commentary by Ramakrishna around 1687. And according to R. C. Gupta, a well known historian of Indian mathematics, the best traditional commentary is Kriya Kramakari composed around 1534 of Shankara warrior and uh, is uh, thought that he could not complete it and he it was completed by one Mahisha Mangala and Narayana who compiled this after the demise of Shankara. So, this is a very detailed commentary. Some of our uh, uh, colleagues are working on this detailed work. The number, the number of commentaries and versions in uh, regional languages like Kannada, Telugu, etc. And now, of course, there are, you know, there are a lot of uh, literature available in Lilavati in uh, other languages also Hindi and so on and so forth. There are three Persian uh, translations <coughs> uh, are known. One of the famous one is Abul Faid Faidi, so it is around 1587 C. So, my lectures are based on Colebrook's, uh, Colebrook's translation uh, which he did in the 19th century beginning and based, he based on the original Sanskrit text and commentaries with uh, notes by H. C. Banerjee. Now, of course, there are many other accessible uh, works on Leelavati. For instance, there is a work uh, by Naimpalli, S. L. Singh and uh, 
Patavardhan, published by Motilal Banarsi Das. So, that is fairly easily accessible and uh, easy to comprehend. And uh, there are many other uh, works, uh, this, uh, uh, books on Leelavati in uh, the regional languages, I mean, which are modern, you know, which explain things in the modern notation and others. I, for instance, know uh, one work in Kannada. So, there must be in other languages also. Now, there are other works of Bhaskara, Bija Ganita, which is also very famous work, which will be discussed later in this lecture series. So, then Siddhanta Shiromani, which is uh, comprising two parts called Graha Ganita and uh, Gola Dhyaya. Sometimes, of course, Siddhanta Shiromani, people talk as if that comes com composed of four parts, you know, Graha Ganita, Gola Dhyaya, Leelavati and Bija Ganita. So, in any way, in the <coughs> This is why here I am referring to the astronomy part, which is Grahaganita and Goladhyaya. There is another work called uh, Karana Kutuhala, who you know where he makes some you know corrections to the parameters for the planets, the composer on 1183 common era. So, Leelavati has rules and uh, lot of examples in about 270 verses. The chapter 1 is on weights and measures. So, which is there in many other works also, you know, they will discuss the weights, you know, and uh, measures of time, measures of length, measures of volume and so on, and then money, money denominations. And there is a numeration up to 10 to the power of 14. So, then he discusses 8 operations of arithmetic, ad addition and uh, subtraction, then multiplication. So, suppose you have a number a1 to an, if you multiply by the uh, b, then multiply a n by b, I am sorry, this uh, you should replace capital A by capital B here, yeah. multiply a n by b, yeah. a n minus 1 by b etcetera and add all of them, of course, taking into account uh, the place values, because here it a n corresponds to a n itself, the a n minus 1 you see here that will correspond to 10th place, right. So, you have to take this into account. Then uh, if you have a number a, then multiply by b plus c, then a b plus a c, all these things are stated, you know. See, this is a modern algebra, all these things are stated, you know, it is called a distributive law. So, it is interesting that they, you know, take, uh, they are uh, careful about these things. See, we saw that in Ganita Sara Sangra also. So, then sometimes it may be um, simpler to write a into b as a x into b by x, where x is a factor of b and carry on the multiplication. Then, if you have a into b, then sometimes it may be easy to write it as a into b plus minus c minus r plus c. So, which is equal to a into b plus minus c minus r plus a c. So, then if you have division, you remove common factors. Okay. So, squaring, square roots, etcetera, I will not spend much time upon that because earlier works were considered in great detail here in this lecture series. Say for instance, if you have this uh, a n plus etcetera a n whole square, so then it is equal to a n squared you write first, then 2 a n into all the rest of the other digits okay. and uh, or rather this not the, this thing is just the a 1 plus etcetera, I am not writing a number as such the sum of these uh, things. So, it is 2 a 1 a n 2 a 1 plus etcetera, of course, decimal place uh, system is in the background, you know, in the back of this, uh, this thing. And then similarly, next is you take up a n minus 1, square this and then multiply twice, uh, twice of that and multiply with the other uh, uh, numbers and so on. And uh, specifically, if you have two digits, so then a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared. Then a squared sometimes it is convenient to write it as a plus b into a minus b plus b squared. So, that depends upon the particular situation where you know this may be simpler for manipulations. So, then square root he takes and you know explain the method of extracting the root. Similarly, in this uh, 23, 26 he takes the cube and he takes an example. So, then uh, he takes the cube root which is standard Indian method which we already discussed in the context of uh, Aribatiya and uh, Ganita Sara Sangraha. So, fractions, 
so sometimes it is you know convenient to reduce them to common uh, denominator suppose you have a by b and c by d so a by b is written as ad by bd and uh, c by d is written as cd cb by db so <coughs> the common uh, you have multiply the denominators basically of course for many other numbers you carry on like this if it is uh, specifically it mentioned that if a by b into c by d etc etc so multiply all the numerators and divide by product of all the denominators then this kind of a thing you know suppose you have a by b then the fraction c by d of a by b then the fraction e by f of this resultant so like that so this is um, considered in uh, many this kind of a you know representation for many problems uh, it is considered in the indian works and similarly g by h into this whole thing so then that is equal to it stated you know he gives the simplified form a into d plus c into e plus f into g plus h etc divided by the all the denominators basically product of all the denominators then you consider division of fractions so a by b divided by c by d is ad by bc okay so next he considers operations with zero yoge kham khepa samam varga dau kham khabhajito rashi kha har ha syat khaguna kham khaguna khaguna chintyascha shesha vidho shunye gunake jate kham haraschet punastada rashi avikruta ev gnayas tathaiva khena unitascha yutaha in addition zero makes the sum equal to the additive in involution and evolution the result is zero a definite quantity divided by zero is a sub multiple of not the product of zero is not but it must be retained as a multiple of zero if any operation is impend zero having become a becoming a multiplier should not afterwards become a divisor the definite quantity must be understood to be unchanged so likewise any quantity to which zero is added or some which it is subtracted is unaltered so what of course he is saying is that suppose you have a plus or minus 0 so that is equal to a so that a remains unchanged then a by 0 he, he calls it kahara a fraction with cipher for its denominator he doesn't go uh, explain that in great detail here because he considered things these things in his bija ganita you know operations with zero are considered in more detail in his work bija ganita but he just says that he is kahara and um, ganesha daivagna in the commentary mentioned that it is in a uh, infinity so remember there was a confusion about that in uh, ganita sara sangraha now we know it is clear so then a into 0 is 0 <coughs> then what happens when a into 0 by 0 i will uh, but it must be retained as a multiple of 0 further operation simple see suppose a into 0 then don't just put it equal to 0 because afterwards some division by 0 may be there so you retain that zero having become a multiplier should not afterwards become a divisor the definite quantity must be understood to be unchanged perhaps he is saying that a into suppose you have you know multiply by zero and divide by zero that is a itself so it is not very clear in this context this will be <coughs> explained in detail later but now of course we know that uh, you can't just put it as a it is indeterminate you know zero by zero that depends upon the way the 0 by 0 comes but here the confusion is there it appears as if he is writing it like this so we don't know which is not correct here i don't i don't have any this thing you know and he not means uh, should no, uh, that is the translation you know in fact it could be in envot itself yeah that is a peculiarity of his translation maybe he emphasizes it you know Hot and not kind of thing, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Then he considers what is known as inversion method to find the solution of a problem. <coughs> so this is what he says: Chedam gunam gunam chedam vargam moolam padam krutim runam runam swam swam runam kuriya drushye rashi prasiddhaye atvasvam shadike okone tu lavadyone haro haraha amshast. विकृतस्त्र विलोमो शेष मुक्तवत 
So, to investigate a quantity 1 being given, make the divisor a multiplicator and the multiplicator a divisor, the square a root etcetera etcetera. Okay. So, what he is trying to say, we should understand what he is, if you see some example it will be clear. So, that is if you are saying you know some operations are carried out and then you know the result is given okay then what is that original number so he is saying that you know you have to go in the inverse manner so by, by when i deal with the example it will be clear so for instance he gives one example in verse 49 yes trigna strib stribhi anmitah svacharanaihi bhaktah tata saptabhi svatramshena vivarjitah svagunito hino dipanchashata Tanmule Ashtayute Hrutecha Dashabir Jatam Dvayam Bruhitam Rashim Vetsihi Chanchalakshi Vimalam Vame Viloma Kriyam Viloma Kriyam you know inversion you know do it the other way kind of a thing. So Chanchalakshi pretty girl with tremulous size if thou, if thou know the correct method of inversion tell me the number which multiplied by 3 and added to 3 quarters of the product and divided by 7 and reduced by subtraction of half a third part of the quotient and then multiplied into itself and having 52 subtracted from the product and the square root of the remainder extracted and 8 added and the sum divided by 10 yields 2. So, this is the final result. Okay. So, you have done various operations on the number, the final result is 2, then what is that number? You see that is what is this thing. Okay. So, essentially he is saying you know if you translate that uh, verse into our you know the uh, the equ an equation we know uh, the, you know familiar with uh, you know this uh, writing equations in this form. So, what he is saying you know <coughs> take one tenth you know so x is there so x into 3 ok. So, then you are 1 minus 3 by 4 multiplied by that 1 by 7 is there 1 minus 1 by 3 is there the whole thing square see that is what he is saying right which multiply by 3 and added to 3 quarters of the product and divided by 7 and reduced by subtraction of half a third part of the quotient and then multiplied into itself right. So, that is what it is then you subtract minus 52 then take the square root of that then add 8 then divide by 10 that is 2. So, now what he is saying to find the answer you do it the reverse way. So, you take 2 2 is the answer you take that then see here 1 by 10 was given in the problem. So, now we take it as 10 2 into 10. So, addition 8 was there here you minus 8. Okay. So, then next square root is there then you have to take the square root then minus is here here you take plus. So, then here 2, two by 3 is there so, you make it as 3 by 2 then here you see the whole thing is 7 by 4. So, you write it as 4 by 7 and a 3 is there 1 by 3. So, this whole thing is equal to the answer which is 28. So, I mean this is inverted you know see 2 when you take in the modern way if you take it into 10 right 10 then minus 8 right then square root of this number is 2 into 10 minus 8 then you have to square take the a uh, square of that this thing. So, you have to take the uh, square so like that. So, that is the inverse method. So, then another method called rule of supposition or false position. I mean these are somewhat implied in the modern methods, but you know here explaining it you know in um, uh, explicitly. So, suppose <coughs> this of is the following you know uh, the what he is trying to say is the following. Suppose you have some operations you do on some number x ok we do not know that number x operations you do on the number x and you get the result y ok you know y. So, you have to find x. So, what he is saying that take any number x prime ok and do all these operations a on that ok and then suppose you get the result y prime. So, then the result will be by x prime by y prime into y. So, that is by rule of proportions of course, here you should be doing only squaring etcetera should not be there it should be what is the linear operation you know otherwise you will not get this. So, what he is trying to say is you know then you know if you take the number some example it will be clear. 
panchagnaha this is example he is giving svatribhagono dashabhaktaha samanvitaha rashi tremsharda padaihi syat ko rashi yuna saptatihi rashi yuna saptatihi what is that number which multiplied by 5 and having the third part of the product subtracted and the remainder divided by 10 and one third a half and a quarter of the original quantity added gives 2 less than 70 see here <coughs> multiplied by is 5 so i write it as multiplier 5 third part of the product subtracted subtractive one third of itself then remainder divided by 10 divisor is 10 then added one third half and quarter one third half and quarter of the quantity is added okay so now <coughs> so finally what to get is 2 less than 70 so 68 68 is y you have to find x so now take x prime is equal to 3 you do all these operations and x prime okay so multiply by by 5 into 3 is 15 then having the third part subtracted 1 minus 1 by 3 into 15 is 10 then divide by 10 1 by 10 into 10 is 1 then add third part of the 1 by 3 half and 1 by 4 add all of them and multiply by the number so they are taken it as 3 and then add 1 okay add it okay so 17 by 4 this is y prime so if you start from 3 you get y 17 by 4 so the but so if the this is a quantity the original quantity is 3 then the result is 17 by 4 but if the result is 68 what is the original quantity it's just a rule of proportion so x is y into x prime by y prime so 68 into so whatever you took the suppose supposition 3 and got whatever result you got you divide by this then multiplied by the result so this is 48 so one gets 48 of course x prime you can take anything instead of x prime is equal to 3 you can take 6 or 60 or whatever you can do that similarly correspondingly y prime will change so then x prime by y prime into x prime so that will be the same quantity into result that will be the same quantity so that is the so now it is called the rule of false position so now we discuss as what is known as sankramana <coughs> so it is a very standard thing only you know this kind of things comes various places uh, at various places so that is what they are stating is yogontarena yogontarena una yutardita sto rashi smruto sankramana akshyam etat so what he is saying that sum with the difference added or subtracted being how gives the two quantities this is termed concurrence or sankramana so what is is a very simple thing suppose you are giving the sum of two numbers and uh, difference of two numbers then what are the two numbers so that is uh, straight forward so if x plus y is k and x minus y is l then clearly x is half of k plus l and y is equal to half k minus l of course you can extend it into uh, slightly different kind of uh, uh, problems based on this advanced uh, things based on this suppose if x minus y and x squared minus y squared are given then you have to find x plus y first x squared minus y squared by x minus y then x and y are found by sankramana in fact we will see that later <coughs> narayana pandita will discuss far more things you know the more difficult slightly more difficult problems are given then he reduces to sankramana and then uh, solves it okay so now <coughs> generations of various uh, rational squares etc various rational uh, triangles rational figures and all that you know that to generate it okay so as professor md shiva has pointed out you know you generate various words you see which are valid kind of thing so similarly you generate various the same kind of you know mindset seems to be there you know you generate various kinds of figures or uh, this kind of a thing with some stipulation you know that all the sides must be rational or uh, all the other segments must be rational and so on and so forth so for instance if you take you know suppose he says that you want you consider two quantities x1 and x2 suppose you are stipulating that x1 squared plus x2 squared minus 1 are squares so this must be extra expressible as some quantity square square of that okay so then one particular kind of solution is x1 is if you take this you take any n integer you take x1 is this then x2 is this so then you get if you take this 
sum of the squares and reduce 1, then that will be a square. Okay. So, similarly, if x 1 is 1 by 2 n plus n and x 2 is 1, you will get a square for this. And if x 1 is 8 n to the power of 4 plus 1 and 8 n cube, again the sum of the squares minus 1, they, that will be a square, you know, that, that will be some different quantity square, you see. I mean that quantity must not involve square roots obviously, you see. So, it must be some rational thing and then you square it kind of way, that is the what is. Then you use the solution of a quadratic equation, normal some, somehow in, a, in the even earlier also we had seen that it is expressed as like this x plus minus a, a root x is equal to b, you are solving for root x and then squaring it to get x. So, then it is stated that root x is equal to if plus or minus a is there, so this minus or plus will be there, it will come plus this. So, minus power plus a by 2 plus square root of b plus a by 2 whole square, whole thing square that is the solution. So, here at least you know only one root is being talked about because um, in many examples the negative root will not make sense. So, he is actually talking of one root one root only. So, it is standard thing you know that is a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to 0, you know you know the solution you know in the modern method, at least the modern way of expressing it. So, the same thing see here instead of b you got a and things like that you know and here you know it is the right hand side. So, you have to be careful you will get this as a solution. So, then similarly if you have he considers you know suppose you have x plus c by d x kind of a thing you know. So, then you see reduces to this then proceed as before you find root x and then x. Okay. So, this is a famous example I will consider many of the you know famous examples which uh, Bhaskara has you know <coughs> which are you uh, which are there in the text you see for illustrating various procedures. So, parthaha karana vadaya marganagam kruddho rane sandhade tasyardena nivarya tach sharaganam mulai chaturbhi chaturbhi hayan shalyam shadbhi rasheshu bhi shadbhi rasheshu bhi tribhi api chatram dhvajam karmukam chichedasya shiraha sharena katite yan arjuna sandhade. The son of partha irritated in fight. Kruddho, okay. Shot a quiver of arrows to slay Karna, okay. Karna Madhaya to, to slay Karna. So, shot a quiver, a quiver of this <coughs> of arrows, Marganaganam. Tasyar Dena Nivarya, with half his arrows, he parried those of his antagonists. Tasyar Dena Nivarya, Tacharaganam, his uh, the Karna of this thing. Then Mulehi Chaturbir Hayan. With four times the square root of the quiverful, he killed his horses, Hayan. Okay. With six arrows, he slew Shalya. Shalyam should be. With three, he demolished the umbrella. Rateshu be three, three be happy. Umbrella, standard, and bow. Okay. Chatram, Dvajam, Karmukam. Chichedasa, Shiraha. Then he cut off the head of the for remaining this thing, uh, arrow. Cut off the head of the foe with the remaining, you know. How many were the arrows which are you let fly? So, these are. So, essentially, Sanna Prutha, yeah. Partha Sanna Prutha, okay. That is the translation, okay. You can make it as Partha, okay. Partha irritated in this thing, yeah. Sometimes Partha is Sanna Prutha, you know, kind of a thing. You can translate so. So, what he is saying is half plus 4 root x plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 that is equal to x. So, in fact, this must be half x, half the arrows, half x plus 4 root x plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to x. So, this is what you get x minus 8 root x minus 20 is 0. So, from the method that he has um, uh, formula he has given for the uh, solution root x is equal to 10 is x is 100. Of course, root x minus 2 is also a solution. In fact, there is a valid solution for this, but in the problem root x has to be negative because remember 
that he has taken you know four times the square root of the with four times the square root he killed his arrows that so the square root x also must be positive so he is taking the positive root and uh, the solution is this then he talks about the rule of 3 5 7 9 and all that similar to what uh, his predecessors have done well, i forgot to mention that apart from this you know uh, brahmagupta and uh, uh, mahavira and all he had uh, there others also of eminent uh, shridhara was there and then um, uh, Sripati, who wrote a very famous work called Siddhanta Shekara, which also has a mathematics section. So, some of the results are taken from there also, you know. <clears throat> so, then he discusses the investigation of mixtures. Atha parne pa pranehi gunitaha svakalaha pratita kalagna palo drutaste fayoga bhaktasya vimishta nignaha prayukta khandani prutak bhavanti. So, the arguments taken into their respective times, 1 divided by the fruit taken into elapsed times, the several quotients divided by their sum and multiplied with the mixed quantity and the parts as severally lent. So, as usual, I mean if you, if I write the things in the, uh, the, in the form which is familiar to us, so you will be able to understand. Suppose x, y, z are the portions lent or the principles lent at the interest rate R1, R2, R3 percent per month and suppose the common interest I is equal to common interest in T1, T2, T3 months. Okay. So, X being lent at rate R1 for T1 months, Y being lent at rate R2 for T2 months, Z being lent at R3, rate R3 for T3 months. So, <clears throat> the common interest is this. So, X into R1 into T1 by 100 etcetera is equal to common I and what is given is x plus y plus z. So, then one can see that x is to y is to z is this thing. So, x itself is given by this what he is saying 100 into 1 by r 1 t 1 into the mixed quantity divided by the sum of these. So, that is what he is essentially saying. The several quotients divided by their sum and multiplied by the mixed quantity. So, that is the several. So, so, he gives an example the sum of 6 less than 100 nishkas being lent in the proportion at interest of 5, 3 and 4 percent at equal interest was obtained on 3 being lent in 3 proportions at interest of 5, 3 and 4 proportions is not known and equal interest was obtained on 3 portions in 7, 10 and 5 months respectively tell mathematician the amount of each portion. Phalam vada khanda sankhya. Okay. Khanda that is a portion uh, this thing amount of each portion you have to tell. So, essentially here the rates of interest are given R 1, R 2, R 3, 5, 3 and 4 the number of months is this the total interest is the same and R 1, T 1, R 2, T 2, R 3, T they are, they are this and then the amounts are different the total is given amount this thing. So, by using is uh, whatever the procedure is given you just have to you see 100 divided by this then 100 divided by 30, 100 divided by 20 you take this add all of them you get this. So, then this is the result you get. So, then whatever the portion 1 length so that is the mixed quantity 94 comes here in the numerator this comes in the denominator and 100 by 35 comes in the, that particular pertaining to 1 that is this. So, these are the various quantities which are lent and the common interest is this. So, similarly, so next uh, other mixture thing he talks about the filling of a cistern from n fountains or n pipes. I discussed that in the context of Ganita Sara Sangraha. So, that also he discusses here, I, we do not have to do it here. Then there are other kinds of mixture uh, problems. So, let the relative proportion of type pi in the mixture is beta i you see. So, relative, suppose there are various n items are there and then the proportions are given not proportions, but the ratios the relative proportions are given beta 1 to this thing. So, they are not normalized the total will not add up to 1. So, what you have to do is the relative fraction of type i in the mixture is you have to 
divide the particular quantity divided by the whole thing. So, the sum of these fractions will be equal to 1, but we do not need this. See, this will make the you know uh, method of solution somewhat cumbersome, we do not need that, we can work with this only. So, suppose the total price is given that is x. So, that is given by the total amount of mixture is A. So, then total price will be this, mixture sum is this and uh, the amount of item in the mixture is A beta prime i and x i is the price. So, this is the solution you know, you have to multiply by this proportional factor corresponding to i, then divided by sum of quotients, then whatever your x you are giving, getting which is which is the stated result and that is the amount of measure of type i and price also of that you can give. If you go through this uh, nothing very difficult, only you have to follow this and uh, understand the some small simplifications he is making. So, if you tell an exam, I mean if you uh, quote an example, it will be clearer to you. Karpurasya varasya nishka yugale naikam palam prapyate. Vaishyanandana chandana secha palam, Dramastha bhagena chet, Ashtam shena tata garoho, Paladalam nishkena me de hitan, Bhagaihi eka shodasha ashtaka, Mithair dhupa chikirsham miham. If a pala, some measure, okay, a best camphor may be had for two nishkas, they are some units. One nishka is supposed to be some 16 dramas. So, and a pala of sandalwood is for 8th part of a drama and half a pala of some all alle wood he calls it, also for 8th of a drama that is the translation nishka, karpura, vara and half a pala of alle, that also for 8th of a drama, good merchant give the value of 1 nishka, there are 16 dramas. But, um, they must be what is specified is these must be in the proportion 1, 16 and 8. Okay. So, the proportions of these things in the you know, volume are right that is given and then the relative price, prices are given and what is the amount you have paid for the total thing that is given then you have to give the quantities of those things which are actually used to perform the uh, to prepare the perfume. So, he is saying camphor is you know suppose you call this 1, 2, 3. So, these are the relative prices I and mean, these are the proportions are 1 is to 16 is to 8 and the prices are 32 and 1 and 1 8 and 1 by 4. I am sorry, this is not 1, 1 should not be there, it is only 1 by 8. So, the, the price of sandalwood is 1 by 8 only, 1 should not be there, 1 by 8 and 1 by 4. So, the total you see. See, suppose your uh, quantities are um, is um, so 32 into 1, the amounts of these things, you know, prices are this 32, excess are the prices, and these are the proportions. So, you can keep it like that, you do not have to uh, normalize it or I know make it uh, convert into fractions. So, this is a total price. So, the total price will be mixed amount, I mean, if xi is the thing. And uh, the total price is given to be 16, sorry this is the quantity, the total quantity is there uh, or whatever the intermediate quantity which comes that is six, uh, 36. So, total price is 16. So, the quotient is x by this thing, whatever is the mixed time that is the 16 ramas. So, this divided by this, so we get 4 by 9. So, amounts of item will be you know various proportions are given. So, 4 by 9 into this whatever is given here and then you compute this individually. So, the amounts are 1 into 4 by 9, 16 into 4 by 9 and 32 by 9. Okay. So, they are in a proportion 1 is to 16 is to 8 and the prices of course are you know you have to multiply by the uh, prices for one unit kind of a thing, one amount. So, you have to get this. So, just a matter of small details, there is nothing more significant but it is useful simplification that is what is important. So, similarly he talks about uh, various trading uh, kind of a uh, uh, situations 
then mixtures of gold co of different quantities the so called alligation and so on so on so next it comes to <coughs> the combinations so is a very very important uh, um, a topic but here of course he will not give in detail one one result only basically he is uh, stating later on he will take it up in more detail about the permutations and combinations in the later part of the text but um, what he is telling here stating here is you know yaka de kon taranka ha vyasta bhajya ha prutak sthitaihi para purvena sangunya tat parastena tena cha ek ditrad beda ha sihu idam sadharanam smutam chandaschit uttare chandasya upayogo hasya tad vidam nusha vahana bheda do khanda mero cha shilpake vaidyake rasabhaidiye tannoktam vistute bayat let the figures of one upwards differing by one put in the inverse order be divided by the same arithmetical in direct order and uh, let the subsequent be multiplied with the preceding and the next following with the foregoing result there are several results are the changes 1 2 3 etc this is termed a general rule and then you know he talks of the applications of this chandas and uh, so on it serves in prosody for those verse therein to find the variations of meter in the arts as in architecture <coughs> then um to compute the changes upon apertures of a building in music the scheme of musical permutations in medicine the combinations of different savers and for fear of prolixity this is not fully set forth i mean for fear of you know talking too much about this you know so what he is stating is the yaka dekotaranka ha etc so what he is saying is take you know we giving the number 1 write n by 1 so the next n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2 etc etc n into n minus 1 up to if there are all terms you go up to n minus r plus 1 so that in the numerator in the denominator 1 into 2 into 3 r okay so what is these is the things you know so out of n you can take one at a time two at a time and r at a time these are the quantities these are the combinations right which you have already learned so in modern notation it is factorial n by factorial r into factorial n minus r so i state this result and immediately gives an example in fact two examples contained in this verse ekad vitriya vitryaadi musha vahana mitimaho bruhi me bhumi bhartu harmye dameshta muse chatura vicharate slakshna shala vishale एक युक्त मधुरा कटु कषाय आम्ल कक्षा रतिक एक गणका कति वा व्यंजने व्यक्ति भेदा सो इन ए प्लेजेंट स्पेशियस एंड एलिगेंट एडिफिस विथ एट डोर्स कंस्ट्रक्टेड बै ए स्किलफुल आर्किटेक्ट एज ए पैलेस फॉर द लॉर्ड द लैंड टेल मी द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अपर्चर टेकन वन टू थ्री एक्सेट्रा सो दी वन प्रॉब्लम then say mathematician how many are the combinations in one composition with ingredients of six different base sweet pungent astringent sour salt and bitter taking them by, taking them by ones two threes etc so the one the first problem is you know there's a building with uh, eight windows so what are the ways number of ways of you know opening one window then two windows i mean two out of the eight then three out of the eight and so on so that is uh, one problem the next is you know six kinds of taste so sweet pungent astringent etc madura katu kashaya amla etc so taking 1 2 3 etc so remember that is one of the very ancient uh, example right so this was uh, mentioned earlier you know <coughs> regarding how many tastes are there in books on related to ayurveda so then number of ways if you take the first example so one at a time is 8 by 1 2 at a time is 8 into 7 by 1 into 2 etc 3 at a time is this so this has been done earlier so i'll not need not going to the detail but this are the simply put it is this 
and the total number of variations 2 to the power 8 minus 1 right so that is the total number of combinations so adding all of them together 1 at a time 2 at a time etc 8 at a time for this particular example similarly for this uh, taste so 1 at a time it is 6 2 at a time is 15 3 is 20 so like that total will be 2 to the power of 6 minus 1 so that is 63 so next so this is uh, and as i told you we will discuss about these combinations and all that and some more advanced results in later in the text so i will discuss that in my last lecture on lilavati so then progressions so standard results and we already know how to sum of the first n integers sum of the squares of the first n integers then sum of sums then sum of cubes and all that right so they have been dealt with in great detail so i don't have to repeat them so then chandas example number of persons with a fixed number of syllables so this also has been uh, told many times padakshara mitagachche guna varga phalam chaye dvigune samavruttanam sankhya tadvargo varga vargascha sasa padan podonau kyatam ardha samanaancha vishamanam okay the number of syllables in a verse being taken for the period and the increase two fold the produce of multiplication and squaring as above directed will be the number of variations of like verses its square and square square less their respective roots will be the variations of alternately similar and of dissimilar verses so in fact um, he is actually planning to explain the i mean explain the method for the example which comes in the next verse so he is saying tell me directly the number of varieties of like alternately like and dissimilar verses respectively in their meter named anushtub okay so there are four charanas as already that mean this thing so you let it like this at eight syllables each so each of them can be lagu guru right so so which the so chandas of course it was uniformly liked by everybody so i am sure you have already noted it and you know are keeping it in the back of your mind so these eight syllables eight these things so total of 32 syllables are there okay suppose all the this thing charanas are alike okay they are identical then clearly of course each of them individually in each of them each of them can be you know they have uh, uh, two you know factor of two right two kinds of things are for lagu or guru for each of the syllable so two to the power of eight but no more counting because all these things are repetitions of the same thing so two to the power of eight is equal to 256 so then <coughs> alternately alike charanas so there is 2 to the power of 16 minus 2 to the power of 8 so this also has been discussed uh, threadbare here so i will not uh, go into that so that is the so what you do is you know you take uh, uh, two charanas two charanas okay so one take one two uh, this thing two charanas and then put the exactly the same thing below so then first and third will be alike and second and fourth will be alike okay so then the number of these things will be 2 to the power of 16 but in including the all alike also in this that also comes you have to, have to subtract this so 2 to the power of 16 minus 2 to the power of 8 and the total number of variations is 2 to the power of 32 obviously if all of them are you know can be arbitrary each of them is lagu or guru and that is not known which of them so then 2 to the power of 32 will be there because 32 is the total number of syllables so then but these things these two cases the sum will be 2 to the power of 16 so subtracting the case of all like and alternately alike number of dissimilar verses is 2 to the power of 32 minus 2 to the power of 16 so here dissimilar only means it excludes all like and alternately alike and does not mean that all charanas are dissimilar no for instance it includes cases in which first two charanas are alike as also last two and so on okay only thing is excluding all identical and alternate identical the rest of the things are that is how it is posed okay so then good old right angle triangle so he expectedly he begins be considering right triangles so side upright and diagonal he concentrates on rational triangles so one type he is discussed in <coughs> verse 139 istena budosmat jigune jigune jigunena nignat istasya 
विुक्त व्याप्त कॉटि पृथक श्रेष्ठ गुणा भुजो न कर्णो भवे तश्यमिदम तो जात्यम ए साइड इज पुट फ्रॉम दिस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सर दिस ए इज ऑर्बिटरी फ्रॉम दिस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वाइस सम अज्यूम नंबर एंड डिवाइडेड बाय वन लेस देन द स्क्वायर ऑफ द अज्यूम नंबर द अपराइट इज ऑप्टेन सो दिस इज ए सो देन यू आर यू नो मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय ट्वाइस सम नंबर 2a सो a 2n एंड डिवाइड बाय द स्क्वायर ऑफ द नंबर -1 n स्क्वायर -1 this being set apart is multiplied by the arbitrary number and the side as put is subtracted the remainder will be the hypotenuse so the in fact the hypotenuse will be this so what he is saying is this you take and then multiplied by arbitrary number and then subtract the side that's what he is saying so finally you get this so a and then this so these are right angle triangle So A is rational and N is an integer. So it's a rational right angle triangle. So <coughs> the explanation is uh, uh, interesting. So two triangles. The first triangle has side n squared minus one, two n and n squared plus one. Suppose this is a standard thing which you have discussed already, right? Because this is a standard right angle triangle. Because this whole square, n squared minus square, one square plus two n square is equal to n square, n squared plus one square. So now from this, you have to get this a into this, and then this is the uh, upright. And what is the diagonal? Of course, one way is to just pay proportion. You can actually get it, but uh, his explanation is slightly interesting, you know, because it will be useful later on. The upright is the second right angle. Is this? Now hypotenuse is the first rectangle. You could you can take it as upright into n minus side. So this into this minus this, you know, you can view it like that. So n squared plus one. Then the hypotenuse in the second triangle also is constructed like that, upright into n minus side, because they are proportional, you know. So the very way in which you construct the hypotenuse of the first triangle, you construct the hypotenuse of the second triangle also. That's what he is saying, and you get this. So this will be a into n squared plus one by n squared minus one. The references are. Given here, okay. I think that uh, we'll consider this. Uh, we'll discuss more about these rational triangles in the next lecture. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't uh, mention that. Yeah, that comes in the Persian translation. That uh, there is a famous story. You know that uh, uh, Bhaskara had a daughter. And um, her this thing was uh, this jatakam was somewhat tricky. So only if she you know married at a particular instant, some muhurtam, then only she will lead a happy married life and all that. So he has fixed the muhurtam. Of course, he is an astrologer also, so calculated all the positions and all that and fixed the muhurtam. Okay, and then that uh, time only she should be get got married. So all preparations were made and all that. So then, <coughs> so to fix that instant. so he was using a you know clepsydra what is called you know the water clock so it is water is there and then you have a vessel with one hole okay so then this water will go into this and when the water reaches a certain level level you know certain amount of time is gone so he had uh, calculated all that and see you know if that immerses then you know uh, all this uh, If the marriage was supposed to be, we will start. You know, the marriage ritual will start kind of thing. He had done that, so this was water clock was there. So then, apparently, his daughter, you know, she had a necklace, and out of curiosity, she was seeing, you know, she was bending and seeing, you know, how this water is flowing. Okay, I mean, anxiety and you know <laughs> all the things, you know, excitement and so on. So apparently, one pearl broke, and then it went and you know stuck here. so the water stopped flowing okay so baskara saw that even after a long time you know this uh, fellow has not sunk so when then he came and saw that you know he realized what is the situation so the time measurement was gone you see because you know because it has been obstructed by that pearl so he said that you know now you know this is a correct moment has gone and then um, i don't know what happened whether the marriage was uh, solemnized and she had some problem or uh, you know anyway 
uh, it marital life was good or marital life did not exist. But then to console her he says you know he trained her as a mathematician and uh, he composed this work in her name Leelavati. It is only a legend some people say that you know this Leela is also you know various kinds of you know this uh, games kind of a thing amusement. So, uh, mathematics texts were done for amusement also and there are such lots of examples for amusement of course combined with uh, good methods. So, it may be a generic name Leelavati may be a generic name and uh, which was there in there at that time and we may not have seen those books and this is the one which we have been found. So, it may not have anything to do with uh, No, no, not in this work, Leelavati is there. That is what I said in that uh, Persian translation there is a reference to that. Thank you.